Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, January 29th, 2024. The tarot card for today is the Ace of Swords, and this one is labeled Ace of Air, and it comes to us from the recently released deck, The Astral Mermaid Tarot, by artist Danielle Norman. Most of you know that I do my weeks from Monday to Sunday, and I also do weekly tarot guidances, which are in that timeline. But there's something here that I, I want to talk about, and it's the cards that we've had so far. Because we had four straight major arcana cards in a row, and the timeliness of their appearance has been amazing. We had the chariot, the tower, the hanged man or person, and the fool. And where we are right now as we are finishing out January is in retrograde free territory. And yesterday's fool is definitely ready for this adventure and the newness of what it brings. Today really has a rather lovely feel to it. And with this Ace of Swords, you know, it brings all kinds of things, specifically power, right? Especially of the mental type and how we apply it to make things happen. See, when we get into this retrograde free zone, we're able to think more clearly. We're well past the Mercury retrograde and shadow. How you choose to wield your power with this sword today, whether it be through the truth or clearing your path, I think a great deal can be accomplished. We have a really nice day on tap with a Virgo moon, which is practical and organizational. And that's a good way to start the week because it helps you get things set up, right? Knowing what you're going to do in the coming days. And this moon is going to be trying to Mars, trying to Uranus, trying to Mercury. And it will oppose Neptune, which does throw up a bit of a cautionary flag. But I think that you can find your way through any illusion with what you have going on here today. And we end the day with a major aspect, Mars, trining Uranus. And I'll be honest with you, you could have been feeling this one a little bit yesterday with the full card because, you know, this is a rather uh, impromptu type of spontaneous energy that's here. Not a pushy transit, but it is one that lets you kind of break out of your normal routine mode. Maybe let your hair down a little bit and do something exciting, a little more inclined to step out of your comfort zone and take a chance on something. Definitely nothing wrong with that. So long as you know that where Uranus is involved, sometimes these things are rather fleeting. But let me tell you, if you are ready to take that sword and clear your path all the way through to the end of March, <laughs> I think there's a great deal that you can get done. It will be amazing. Uh, you can have a listen to my February Love and Finance Tarot Guidance, which is out now for the month of February. You can find it on my website, on my YouTube, and on my Patreon. And that will help you see what this is all about, what is going on here. And I mentioned earlier about the Major Arcana cards. We have more of them coming. So we, we took out a Power card today. No problem there. We need that to really get us going with this week. I think it's setting things up rather nicely. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.